What's up, everybody? Welcome to My Done Life. This is where I take you on my adventures on two wheels or four. Today is going to be a talking head video. We're going to talk about where I've been, what I've been doing, and what's coming up in the channel in 2021. So stay tuned and roll that new intro. Hello everybody, my name is Travis Dunn and this is My Dunn Life and I want to thank everybody who's been liking, subscribing and, and commenting on my videos. Uh, it's been a really great year for, for me. I finally broke the 100 subscriber mark and uh, now I can actually have my own URL on YouTube. So it's now youtube.com forward slash My Dunn Life. So make sure you continue to like and subscribe. With that said... I want to talk about where I've been, um, what I've been doing, and what uh, what the future looks like for 2021. With that said, i got to talk about where I've been. So um, for the past uh, six to seven years, uh, I have been working uh, as a dispatcher for a transportation company. And uh, that transportation company, I worked with a team that handled uh, all the transportation for an American motorcycle manufacturer. And I've made comments to the effect of, of, of that. Uh, what I really haven't said is it was Harley Davidson. Um, I had to be a little bit careful because of some non-disclosure agreements. And obviously, I didn't want to uh, accidentally say something that insider information that I may or may not have um, when it comes to things that were going on uh, with the motorcycle company. Um, with that said, um, 2020 was uh, a really crazy year as far as my job was concerned. Um, obviously, things dropped off dramatically with COVID. Uh, the plant had shut down. Um, I, Me and the wife, who both work for the, uh, the transportation company, different divisions, but we all, we both took very, very, um, nasty pay cuts for a short period of time. Um, so things were a little rough. Um, and you know, it, it definitely, uh, even though to be honest, I got to do a lot of things that I've never done before. It also kind of pushed me to do things that I probably wouldn't have versus things that I would have. Um, so vacation was very different. That's why I, one of the many reasons I took the, uh, Blue Ridge Parkway trip uh, was because we couldn't afford to do a big family trip like we normally do uh, just about every year. Um, and then obviously with COVID, it just uh, amplified that that problem. So um, with that said, uh, this year was our renewal contract uh, for the company. And unfortunately, we, we lost the contract. Um, and, we, and we've had this contract for, for many, many years, even a few years longer than I've been with the transportation company. Um, but there's a lot of changes. Obviously we, we've seen new CEO, a lot of other new changes in, uh, the upper management. So I think a lot of the connections we had, um, are no longer there with the company. So, um, they decided to go with someone else. Um, and that meant my position was coming to an end. Um, I worked night shift doing 10 to or doing 12 hour days. I, I worked 7 PM to 7 AM, uh, three to four days a week. And, uh, like I said, that was unfortunately coming to a end. Actually, in fact, our final bit with Harley Davidson, I think ends here in the next couple of weeks of the airing of this video. So, um, it is vastly coming, uh, quickly, but, uh, obviously when I, when we found out in late October, early November, um, I had, I, I started the hunt, um, to see if there was another position available, um, I ultimately did find another position that I was kind of hoping to, 
uh, transition to from one job, one position to another. Unfortunately, it was a, uh, hey, we need somebody to do this job that nobody else really wants to do. We think you're the guy for the job. Plus, you get to keep your pay because um, I was salary or I am salary. And uh, so obviously I took the job. Uh, definitely went from, you know, sitting on my butt at a desk job to working, working in the warehouse. And uh, it was a huge transition. And I went from working three or four days a week to working six and seven days a week, 10 and 12 hour days. Um, needless to say, that's, that's the big reason why I, you haven't seen any videos. My, my original plan for the winter after the last couple of videos was, you know, I was going to do some, obviously some live streams. We knew that, um, you know, the Harley, uh, 2021 stuff was all, was all going to be, was all pushed back until the first part of the year. So I figured, I, you know, I'd get a chance to t sit down, talk about that, and talk about, you know, all the other, you know, typical uh, motorcycle things that were going on. And then obviously, you know, uh, things that changed with COVID. So uh, my other plan was to take and uh, make videos on how to do live streams, how to do, uh, how to do video editing, setting up your cameras, and... And all that kind of stuff. Uh, that was kind of originally my plan for the winter uh, to kind of fill in. I knew I wasn't probably going to do be able to still maintain a weekly video, but I was hoping like every other week. And like I said, working six and seven days a week just made that totally impossible. Obviously, I've always said that you know my this whole thing on YouTube has always been a hobby, and while it's something I really enjoy, and maybe one of these days it, it'll become a full time job. It's I'm not. You know, that's, that's always a dream, but not a, not necessarily what I expect out of it. So, uh, for me, it's just mostly, uh, just showing the world, you know, my adventures, uh, that I take, uh, either in a car or on a motorcycle. That's why I say two wheels or four and looking, looking back at 2020, man, it's, it's, it's been, it was so nutty. And, and like I said, you know, with the, with everything that went down with COVID and, and then we, we, we lost, uh, our family pet, um, a dog we've had for, uh, we, he was born in, we, according to the paperwork I have, he was born in 2005. Um, his name was Harley. We didn't name him that. That's, he came to us with that name. So, uh, pure coincidence. Um, but Neil say he, he, you know, he, he loved me and he loved the kids, but he was my wife's dog. I mean, he slept with my wife. I mean, that was, that was her dog. Um, and she, he she found him uh, having seizures one morning and it literally was almost nonstop all day. Uh, and that was very rough for everybody. Um, ultimately we made the decision to, to have him put down. Um, that was a very, very rough decision. Um, me and my, my son are the ones that took him to the vet and, and we were bawling the whole time. Um, uh, I don't even really know how I drove. That's, that's, I mean, tears were just absolutely coming out of my face. Uh, I'm trying not to tear up at just talking about it. So, um, with that said, uh, you know, things did get back to a little bit more of a normal, like I said, I managed to keep my job. My wife got a small promotion. Um, so she, she got a new car and so we bought a brand new Kia Sportage real, real nice, very well equipped little too equipped in my book but it had my wife wanted cooled cooled seats that was her absolute i had to have feature and she uh and she got it so it is what it is i just have to i have to suck up on the on the whole car payment thing uh but with that said you know the car she was driving we've got enough cash to pay that off um we'll probably be doing that next month or so and uh i'm uh I'm in the hunt for a new motorcycle. That's uh, that's my big uh, big thing for 2021. Uh, I've I've owned the Sportster. In fact, it's funny. I I bought the Sportster the year I started the job with the company working uh, on the Harley account. Um, literally a couple months after, I, I took the profit sharing check that I got from my previous job, and it's like I want to buy a motorcycle. And my wife gave me permission at that time if I wanted a brand new car, bike. She was she's like buy what you want. I'm like, no, I don't want to get a new bike. I want to get something, you know, older and something I can pay cash for. And I found the Sportster that that you've all come to see on the channel. And so I've been I've been riding that for for just about seven years. And um, 
you know, it's, it's, it's not been a perfect bike, but it's been a really great bike. Um, it's been easy to work on for the most part. Really the only weird problem, and it's that, that issue I had on the trip. It, it's happened a few times when, when I get stuck in a real big downpour, it like drops a cylinder and I have no idea why. Um, with that said, I want to talk about what's going to happen with the sporty, obviously, and me talking about getting a new bike. Um, for the most part, this, this, the sporty has been sold. Um, Nash, who rode with me on the trip uh, to the Blue Ridge Parkway, um, and he's been in many other videos. Um, he he's been he's been itching for a Harley. Uh, he's he's been riding almost purely Hondas, uh, including that old Goldwing. Uh, his regular bike's a, is a Honda Magna, and uh, but he just he he loves the sporty. Um, he he more than happy to take it out any chance he can he can get the keys. Um, in fact, when him and uh, his family towards the end of the season went to, uh, on vacation to South Carolina, I think it was South Carolina, um, I handed him the keys and told him, to, you know, you know, enjoy it. Don't wreck it. <laughs> if you wreck it, you really have bought it. Um, but uh, but no, I, I, I trust him. He, he's a good kid. and um, You know, he's more than helped me work on that bike. Um, so I, I wasn't I wasn't too concerned about handing him the keys. But with that said, uh, 2021 there, like I said, I'm, I'm in the start of the hunt for the, for the next bike. Um, I will say as much, and then th this, what I'm about to say doesn't, it has no effect. The fact that, that we lost the contract for Harley Davidson. I love Harley Davidson's. i grew up around like a lot of my family all have Harley Davidson's. Um, I love the brand. I love the loyalty. Um, but I'm not, I'm not. Like I, I'm not that kind of guy where I'm saying I will never buy anything but a Harley Davidson. Um, I love a lot of different motorcycles. I think uh, a lot of the stuff that you know Indian is producing right now, and especially what what they just released, looks really awesome. I think they're overpriced because um, they're they're unfortunately they're they're pricing and competing with Harley Davidson, and you, you got to be two things. You either got to be better than Harley Davidson or you got to be cheaper than Harley Davidson. And I think that's where Honda does pretty well with, um, Honda definitely produces a much uh, less expensive motorcycle. They produce some, some high end ones too, but, um, I think on, on the low end cruisers, they, they definitely produce, uh, a high quality product that competes with Harley Davidson as far as quality. And obviously the, they're cheaper. I mean, there's no doubt, no two bouts. Of, I mean, it is what it is. Um, so I, uh, you know, I've, as much as I, I'd, I'd love to get a new Indian or a newer Indian, um, again, uh, the, the price is just, uh, too high for me. Uh, the bike, I, I truly, I would say I truly like if I, if, if I won't say money is no object, cause obviously you can go crazy with that. Um, but if I had twice as much money as I have to spend, cause I want to pay cash, um, I would be buying a, 2012 or newer uh dyna switchback i want i want hard bags um i, I actually want a full fair i'd like to have a full fairing um and that's something i could do or or mostly comes with uh the dynas now i've looked at 06 and newer with the six speed transmission those those were very tempting but there's only a couple of grand cheap two to three grand cheaper and they're still just outside my price range um, if the right one comes along, maybe, but I kind of need, I kind of need an all in one package, uh, for, for about six grand. That's, that's where my, my money is right now. Um, I can always change between now and whenever I do purchase a bike, but that's where I'm at, you know, at the time of this video. Uh, with that said though, like I said, I'm not, I'm not necessarily brand loyal. I'm looking at everything across the gambit. I'm, you know, it's more about it's more about the bang for the buck for me um than it is uh for brand loyalty in that in that case so you know i'm like i said i'm looking for every pretty much any brand in the cruiser market um thousand cc's and up uh it's pretty much uh pretty much on the you know on, on the list to look at so um now as far as 2021 obviously i talked about you know a new bike uh I definitely want to put more miles. Uh, I want to continue with the Ride Ohio series. Um, in fact, I, I'm going to stretch that a little bit. And there's one ride that's just outside of Ohio uh, that, that's going on to that series, uh, mostly because it's going to be a great ride for when me and Nash do it. 
Um, but we're putting the list together of places we want to go or roads we want to travel. Um, the intention is to, to really just, uh, crush the miles this season. And, uh, I'd love to, I'd love to see three plus thousand miles. And I know for a lot of, uh, a lot of people, that's not a lot of miles, but you know, for me, that is, um, normally I put, you know, 1500, 2000 miles. Uh, I put more than that this last season. Cause obviously I did a thousand miles on the one trip. Uh, it was supposed to be, you know, a good bit more, uh, but it got cut short because of, because of the weather and um, it just was, it is what it was. So, um, all I can do is, you know, try, try harder next year. Um, as far as the, like the big destination, I mean, I, one of these days I'm going to do Daytona bike week. I don't think this is going to be the year. I just don't have the funds and the time and, and the situations right. And obviously COVID's making things all kinds of crazy. <laughs> I've been hearing in Florida that, you know, how they're going to crack down and they're going to ban uh, different places from being uh, involved with uh, Bike Week if they, you know, don't keep their numbers under a certain amount, da 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 da, da. I, I don't know if I just want to mess with that kind of craziness. Um, it was bad enough, you know, I didn't get to go to the Easy Rider Rodeo, which is usually my end of the season thing. Um, MMM that I pl- had planned on going, uh, this, this last year, uh, got canceled because, uh, or, you know, if you can call it postponed, um, thankfully the, you know, the five dirty biker guys and, and that, and, the, and all those that are involved in that are going, are definitely planning to, if at all possible, do another MMM. And, uh, if at all possible, I plan on to attend that event. So, um, right now that's on the, that one's definitely on the calendar. Uh, easy ride road is always on the calendar if it's going to happen. Um, and, uh, and honestly, I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about doing Sturgis. Uh, I, w- I would love to do Sturgis, but I'm thinking about doing Sturgis on the off season. This, this first round, I want to, I want to go and enjoy the roads and, and do all that. Um, and then maybe the, next year I'll do the rally. That's what I'm thinking, uh, right now. Um, I just don't know if I'm going to have the finances to do, uh, Sturgis properly because it's just, um, it is a, it gets very expensive, uh, during Sturgis. Plus I want to kind of, you know, scout, uh, you know, places, places to stay, things like that. Um, now one of the, the bonuses to, purchasing the um, Kia Sportage was it hauls up to 2,000 pounds and there was kind of a kind of a caveat to that so it was kind of the reason other reason why I kind of let my wife spend a little more money than uh, I kind of wanted to spend uh, was the option it will it does have the option to tow I just have to get a tow hitch and the wiring kit um, so that is in the plans as well and I'm pretty well I think you can pretty well guess that there might be a little bit of trailering uh, slash campering <laughs> uh, in the near future. So, um, but I don't think I can I can get that done this year. Um, the family we're still hoping to maybe do Disney World, um, but we don't want to do Disney World uh, the way things are right now. The you know stuff is shut down. They're, they're not doing a lot of the things that they would normally do. And I not only want to go to Disney cause I've never been to Disney and I've never obviously taken my children to Disney who are pretty much adults at this point. Um, but I want to go, I want to go see the star Wars. I mean, I'm a big nerd. So, um, that's definitely, definitely on the books, um, to try to try to accomplish this year if we can, like I said, we just don't want to do it, uh, in the current COVID situation. So, um, other things that, uh, that has happened, uh, in the recently I've, I've done a big, pretty big upgrade to my desktop machine. Uh, in fact, I will turn the camera. <laughs> I've, uh, I've done some pictures. Uh, I've always called this, I've always called the, my machines nemesis. Uh, for any you don't know, that's the name of the Decepticon warship. If you're a big transformer nerd, I told you I'm a big, big nerd. Um, and, uh, I, uh, right before the holidays, I managed to get my fingers on a 30, uh, AMD Ryzen 3900 X. Um, so I got 
lots of cores, lots of threads uh, for video editing and streaming and stuff like that. And like I said, that was my intention for the for the holiday season. That was my birthday gift to myself. Uh, I also picked up another GoPro Hero 8, which is going to be great <laughs> to have more than one GoPro. I'd still like to get a third um, for doing some like low shots and things like that. But uh, we'll see how that goes. I almost, I almost bought a DJI Osmo. Um, the, the pricing was real tempting around the holidays, um, cause it was 50, 50 plus dollars cheaper. Uh, but ultimately I decided against that because I didn't want to go through the whole process of, you know, different batteries and things like that. It's so easy to just to have one set of batteries and chargers and all that. So that's kind of why I stuck with the GoPro. Uh, even though, like I said, the, the DJI pricing was, was real tempting. Um, with that said, um, again, like I said, I'd like to thank everybody who's who's joined me on this on this ride. Uh, like I said, I, I do plan on on doing more content as much as I can. Uh, work will always, you know, come first. Obviously, and the family thing will come first. But you know, I'll try to maybe even you know I, I did the the kind of uh, walking vlog uh, during our trip to Niagara Falls. Um, there's you know, if we do Disney, I will certainly be doing that kind of probably vlog, um, you know, and chronicling our, uh, our adventures in, uh, you know, in Disney world. So, but uh, first up, uh, you know, I'd like to thank again, everybody who has just been there for me, um, scouts and chopper fat and Fletch Dinah, you got, you know, all you guys have been really supportive. Uh, you know, let me jump on your live streams and chat and, um, you know, and I, and I definitely appreciate all the, you know, all the shout outs and the hard work you guys have been doing. Um, there are some great moto vloggers out there. I'll leave a link to the, to my last video, my support MVC video, because like I said, there, there's just a, a ton of, it's like my, you know, I, I won't call it necessarily top 20, but, um, there's, you know, there's lots of great moto content and travel content that's out there. And, and I'm just trying to keep up with as much as of it as I can. There's so many, uh, new, uh, great, uh, people out there that's, that's doing things even better than me. And, uh, all I can do is, is grow and learn and, and try to, uh, you know, learn more about editing and things like that. And that's kind of my goal for 2021 is just to, just to grow and, and to do different things and to try new things. And, um, that's really where, where I think I'm going to be at. So, want to thank you everybody uh and uh hope everybody you know ride safe and ride often and uh, we'll catch you in the next video later